lot of people dislike the Click. It has low aggregate ratings and lukewarm reviews from professionals and users alike. Months ago, I saw a YouTube vlogger whose channel's main purpose was to comedically insult girly movies, and she said the Click was her most frequent request from her fans. Well, those people are wrong and this movie is rad. I'm going to tell you why. It focuses on Claire, the average girl moving into a rich neighborhood and feeling like a fish out of water as she grapples with the cruel popular girls. If it sounds like a familiar premise, it is, but the click adds some cool twists to the old formula. One is the portrayal of the click. They act with this odd and hilarious hive mind. They have no will of their own, they're completely subordinate to the commands of their leader, Massey. Has she been there the whole time? That's Claire. Do we like her? No. I love that line. Do we like her? Seriously, tell us. We don't know whether we like her without your guidance. They didn't ask, do you like her, or is she cool, or is it okay if we like her? It's, do we like her? Classic. And speaking of their leader, Massey's an excellent character. She's so egregiously horrible to everyone not in her clique, and yet she still feels likable to us because of this odd charisma and all of these subtle character choices, some from the actress herself and some from the writer and director. Listen to how great this line reading is. God, Claire, you scared me. You shouldn't sneak up on people like that. Claire, I love it. <laughs> or listen to the way she greets her friend in the morning by sizing up her outfit. Machino dress, Alice and Olivia jacket, Michael Kors handbag. Adorable. 8.5. Thank you. This is obviously an evil person, but an engrossing one. It's a very hard balance to pull off, and most movies fail. There's a definite joy that comes from seeing the exorbitant fashion in this movie. And I know in my last video I said I don't like the overproduced look, but in the click it makes sense. It's part of the setting. This is Westchester, where people live in mansions and have chauffeurs. The school's Lost and Found features designer clothing that was abandoned for being a season out of style. Really? Really? Whatever you want. These girls want nothing to do with last season's clothes, trust me. So of course the popular girls were a mishmash of designer brands. And notice they're not just generically overproduced. Each girl's flavor of opulent fashion has so much implied personality to it. Alicia's feels glamorous and stagnant. Dylan's feels more sporty. You can tell a lot of care went into crafting each look. And if you can, the DVD's bonus features confirm as much. None of these matter much if the writing isn't good, but I assure you it is. Obviously, there are some failed jokes, including the first one in the entire film. I'm sorry, but the lions are going to be here for dinner. The lions? Are the tigers and bears coming too? Oh my. But there's some genuinely sharp writing too. Listen to Dylan's mother at the clothing store. But they look great! Well, I'm not getting you a size 6. But I am a size 6! Well, when you're a size 4 again, I'll get you the pants. In every color. Ouch. A lot is said in a small space there. An even better example of efficient characterization is at the slumber party. Okay, would you rather be A, a friendless loser, or B, a person with tons of friends who secretly hate you? Oh, easy B. Definitely B. Be all the way. Of course they would, right? Or look at how big a glimpse we get into Messi's personality by the way she plays Truth or Dare. Okay, Claire, Truth or Dare. Dare. Who do you like? See, Claire didn't say truth. She said dare. But that doesn't matter to Messi. She wants to pry the secret out of Claire, so she asked for a truth anyway, and without hesitation. And then think about Claire's reaction. Massey is so imposing that Claire doesn't even protest. Can we also talk about how much respect this movie has for its audience? Look at the way this gag is played. Uh, yeah, these are my friends too, and FYI, that story's more or less weak than white skinny jeans. Claire's the girl I told you about. Most movies aimed at young audiences wouldn't do it that way. They would show you a close-up of the jeans Claire is wearing to make sure you get the insult. But the clique trusts us to remember those jeans from the previous scene. The joke works way better, and we get to feel smart. The biggest complaint about the click is probably that characters' motivations don't always make sense. We're wondering why Claire even wants to be friends with this group when they're so endlessly mean to her. And I'll admit, for most of the movie, we sort of have to ignore that question to fully enjoy what we're seeing. You'll miss those great flourishes in the truth or dare scene if you can't stop asking yourself why Claire wants to play truth or dare with them in the first place. And yet, if you keep watching, I think you'll realize the movie has more of a plan than it seems. 
Without spoiling the specifics, I'll point out that Claire's motivations are all explained in this scene near the end, and in a way that to me feels completely sensical and satisfactory. And another bit in the end I won't spoil. There's a great conversation a little later that makes us realize these characters are a lot deeper than the archetypes they first feel like. I will have some spoilers here, because there is one specific line in the ending I have to talk about, so fast forward to the time displayed if you want to avoid that. During the film's climax, Claire apologizes for trying to destroy Massey. Alicia replies by saying this. By the way, nice job trying to oust Massey. You got closer than I ever did. That's quite a line. It's not what we were expecting at all. We thought it would be either, oh, I forgive you, or maybe sorry isn't good enough. But no, she agrees with Claire and admits to trying it herself. We realize in this moment, Massey isn't as beloved as she makes herself seem. She's been generating tension with her so-called friends for years. And also notice, the line wasn't just, yeah, I've tried it too, it was, you got further than I ever did. So number one, that's quite a compliment to Claire's cunning, but number two is also a grim reminder Alicia wanted to get further than she did. She wanted to actually destroy Massey. We wonder, does she still want that? Will she keep trying? Apparently, the book this movie was based on was only number one in a 20 book series, so the answer to my question might be in one of those, but this is the only movie we ever got, so we're left to speculate. Or read the books, which I probably will eventually. I'm already five chapters into the first one and I'm enjoying it. But that said, I would still like to see movies of the other 19. So let's start filming them, and no, I don't care that the actresses have all aged 12 years.